Hi travelers! Welcome one more day to my channel. My name is Gloria and I'm in Norway. And I've been living here for the last 8 months. And before coming here, I made a list of things I wanted to do and achieve in this time. So in today's video, I'm gonna check if I made them and I'm gonna show you what I did in this time. But first, if you don't want to miss any of my videos, remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And now, let's start! I moved to Norway at the end of August in 2018 and for me it was a big change because in 2017 I moved to the south of Spain to live in the beach and one year later I moved to the north of Europe to live in the forest and surrounded by snow. So in order to take advantage of my time here and to enjoy as much as possible I made a list of the things I wanted to achieve, learn or see during my time in Norway. And because soon I'm gonna travel to South America for three months, I'm going to check if I have made them, achieved them or why not. So I encourage you to do the same if you are moving to a new place or even if you are going for holidays, just to make a to-do list so you can check at the end if you see all you wanted and you don't miss anything. I made my list in my phone and the first thing I wrote and it's very obvious is to enjoy nature. I am from Serbia in Spain and there we also have mountains and forests so I'm used to nature and also to snow but when I came to Norway and I see that everybody was enjoying nature, going outside even if the weather was not that great I started to enjoy more being outside and here in Norway it's very common to go hiking on the weekends so I did a lot of hikings even when we were working we stopped to go around, check the area I stopped for a nice picnic. Also when I moved to Estavanger I did a couple of hikes there. We also went to a glacier. It was such a nice time outside and just taking time for yourself and it was great. The next thing I wrote it was do winter sports and that's a tricky one because before coming to Norway I thought it was gonna be a very cold winter, snowing all the time very low temperatures, so it didn't snow much and when I moved to Stavanger at the beginning of this year it was so sunny and it doesn't snow there so I couldn't practice any winter sport until I came to Hornsho to the school and we were doing cross-country skiing which is the most typical winter sport you can practice here there's the tracks outside the school and also it was the first time I was doing cross-country skiing and at the beginning it was hard and really tiring but then you get used to and you go super fast and you enjoy especially when you slow down and you just go floating it's really cool and I really recommend it the next thing I wrote it was drive well and it doesn't mean I was driving bad before but I had only three years driving license in Spain and I didn't drive that much there but here because our job was driving a van collecting clothes in different routes around Norway I have to drive every day at the beginning it was a bit hard to drive such a big van and to drive for, for 200 or 300 kilometers a day but then when I was not driving for three days I was really missing it and now I don't drive often so I really miss driving and it's super weird, no? Also we did this ice driving course to learn how to drive in a slippery surface with snow how to put the snow chains, how to take tires so now I feel I know more about cars, how to be safe, how to drive in different conditions and it's something that's gonna help me all my life because you never know when you're gonna need it so I'm really glad I was driving for these last six months and I learned so much so another thing I wrote was to make friends and meet local people I think I also achieved this one in the school I met a lot of people that now they are my friends people from all over the world, super nice with amazing stories that, that we shared so much things in common and it's great to meet people you can talk with and share your different point of views and they inspire me so much and also during my time in Norway I wanted to meet local people like real Norwegians to see how are them I met some of them and I even spent Christmas with a Norwegian family you can check the video above in the tags and that was a really amazing experience like it was very surprising for me at the beginning 
that they invite me to spend Christmas with them but then I have such a nice time I felt really like in the family and um, spending those days very cozy and warm Another thing I wrote it was to do camping and hiking and as I told you before I did a lot of hikings it was very nice and were long and were like 30 minutes and were like a couple of hours so it was very nice to be in nature and the other part about camping I did camping once in the van and you can check the video also in the tag I did it with my friend Raluca and we spent the night in a natural reserve we hiked in the morning and we camped in the night there, we even saw the stars and it was amazing I will try it again for sure and also talking about camping, hiking and sleeping outside one of the things I really wanted to do and to see in Norway was the Northern Lights and it was my dream, like I've seen so many pictures of these lights amazing in the sky at night the thing is you cannot see Northern Lights all over Norway actually you can only see them in the north of, of Norway even if you go there it's not secure you will see them so it's quite difficult and because I was living around Oslo and then I moved to Stavanger those areas are totally not places to see Northern Lights I will try to go to the north at some point and see the Northern Lights because it's something that for me it's really important and everybody that has seen it they told me it's amazing, like the colors is like magical so I really want to see it so this was the list I made before coming to Norway and I think I achieved almost all of them so I'm, so I'm super happy for it and in this time I learned so much about Norway, the people, the culture also the ability to enjoy nature and be more comfortable driving in the snow meeting new people from all over the world it was like such an amazing experience and I recommend everybody to Young One World Institute to do this program travel to different places and experience this amazing world we have subscribe to my channel and hit thumbs up if you like this video thanks so much and see you next week ciao